They're chasing an iguana. Look at him go. Look at this little guy. Look at him go. Look at him go. All right, all right. What's up, fellow e-bike nerds? We are on another ride and another mission to go find a great place to eat. And we're going right back down to West Palm Beach. But we're going to go southern, not north like we did last time to the Cheesecake, uh, Cheesecake Gallery. We're going to go try out at this uh, Mexican place here known for their tacos. They've been on syndicated TV shows. I think you're going to enjoy this. I haven't been there again in over a year due to current events and other things, but it's one of those great places that you really, really should visit when you come to West Palm Beach. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have a blast. We got, we're going to try every, or well, almost every taco. They got a lot of tacos, but we're going to try as many tacos as we can. So sit back, relax, enjoy the, enjoy the video montage of the ride there. I forgot to mention, we're also trying a couple new things here. There, I came across this awesome video by Bolton E-Bikes. You're gonna see it up here on the, on the top right. It's gonna give you a little bit of information about uh, how to save battery on your rides. So I've taken everything they put on there and I've decided to uh, go ahead and uh, test that out today. So we're gonna see if that it actually increases your ride. It's gonna be an unscientific test. I'm not plugging into any charger or reader or anything like that. I just know how much miles I can get on this 17.5 pedaling, and we're gonna see if, uh, if I can extend that. So, thanks for being on the journey. Let's have some fun. I did a rookie mistake. I didn't check to see if they were open today. So Soy Cholo, a Mexican restaurant, closed today. Closed on Sundays. Color me surprised. Alrighty, well, I mean, we still got a, we're still doing about 20, 25 miles on the bike, so that counts for something, right? I know it does for me. So I'm enjoying my time down here in West Palm Beach, and I hope you are too. I think we might find a place to eat here. It was a wrap place that I used to go to uh, back when I used to work off of Palm Beach Island. So we're going to try that place out here in a second. So enjoy the ride. And here we are. PB Wraps. I love this place. Palm Beach Wraps. Got a lot of great uh, dishes in this place here. I used to go here for lunch every, uh, pretty much almost every day. Um, what's a really good wrap? The number one best wrap would be the buffalo chicken wrap. Let's go ahead and try that buffalo chicken wrap, please. Would you like a ranch or blue cheese? Uh, blue cheese. Does that come with fries? It does not come with fries, but I can do the fries and a drink. I have two drinks, and then let me get a, what kind of fries do you have? Curly fries. That's gonna have an order of that, please. Thank you. But it's ready. All right, I'll be outside. Thank you. I'm not a negative person, so this was a hard review to make. I think I've said it enough times, I used to come here a lot. 
I wanted to like this buffalo chicken wrap, but it was just meh. Way too much blue cheese. It overpowers everything. The buffalo sauce, the chicken, it really was hard to eat. I finished maybe 70% of it. I had to take out some of the blue cheese. I would never order this again, and I wouldn't suggest anyone either. Unless you like blue cheese, then by all means, knock yourself out. Well, we finished there. Um, that wrap, that buffalo chicken wrap, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Not the best that I've had. Um, really, well, I'll give a more in-depth review there. Not really happy with that meal. But it was the journey, not the, not the meal. The meal was just secondary. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that wrap anyway. I'm sure there's better wraps. And I've had better wraps. I used to come here for lunch years ago, like almost every day. But uh, yeah, that was, um, mm, wasn't up to par. Anyway, let's get back to the road. Alrighty, we're leaving Palm Beach Wraps. That was, well, not to sound corny, but a wrap. Yeah, not the same that I remember it. I, I, I'm asking for like, you know, the best dish that they have. And uh, that, uh, that wrap was, wasn't that good. So uh, let's, uh, let's go head home. Let's give a nice little ride back home and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. My crank arm on the left side has gone loose and I don't have the right tool to tool to tighten it up. So I've been tightening it up with a finger with my thumb, just rotating as much as I can. Well, it's kind of weird now. Every time I push on the left crank arm, there's a, uh, there's a loose part there where it's just not biting. So I need to tighten it down. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'm not doing any damage. But all I'm doing now is I'm going throttle at about uh, pedal assist three. That should get me home. I'm only about two miles away from home, so shouldn't be a worry too much. I want to thank you guys for, again, another wonderful trip that we've made here on uh, e-bikes and eats. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a good time making it. This is always my bane here, that, that term right there. But uh, yeah, thanks again for, for hanging out and checking it out. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks again, uh, thanks again for, for, uh, for watching. 
like, subscribe, share, all that great stuff the YouTubers say. And uh, man, I'm really sorry about uh, the negative uh, the, the negative review here, but it, that that's that rab was just absolutely terrible. Anyway, hopefully when next next week we find a better place. Looking forward to it. You guys take care. Be good to each other. And bye. Shaka.